Hello, it's Thomas from the Litchi Slicer team. I'm excited to introduce you the latest updates and changes in Litchi Slicer with our latest release. This new version is a key step towards bringing you a game-changing experience. Let's dive right into it. Our main focus has been on improving performance, particularly in the creation and manipulation of support. As you may already know, supports in Litchi Slicer are smart, they can store data like tags, be recalculated and modified on the fly. It's incredibly useful, but it can impact performance, especially on older computers. Now we can make selection quickly, add support without limitations and create this intelligent support effortlessly. Some operations see gains of over 10,000% like adding support painting or inline support. Give it a try and you will quickly notice the difference. In terms of performance, some small changes might go unnoticed but will be appreciated in your daily workflow. This includes Litchi Slicer synth loading way faster, memory optimizations and more. In the end, you will enjoy preparing your models even more with Litchi Slicer. We've made some minor additions and changes here and there, mostly related to usability and display. The Move tool now groups its utilities in a drop-down menu and we've added also the lift function there as well. In fact, there is a preference setting to enable the auto lift on imports. We've also added uh, an outline around the selected object which can be toggled on or off in the menu. You will also find the new hovering mode as an alternative to the traditional checkboard mode. Also the ability, as an example, to remove all the suction cup detection just in a single click. Cloud notifications for printers and print profiles updates are now more discreet. You will see a small badge to alert you about an update and you can decide whether to accept these changes or keep your personal settings. As usual, we added new printers like the Frozen Mega 8KS, the Apex Maker X1, the upgrades to the Frozen Mighty to support 12K screens or the Peopoli Phenom Noir to support the 7K screens. Regarding the filament sections, apart from more illustration accompanying uh, the settings, you won't see many changes in functionality. In fact, our focus has been on dramatically improving the quality of your prints with smoother surfaces and better handling of shapes like thread that used to cause yeah, problems. Plus, you'll get better results with the new print profile that will be available very soon through a cloud update. Obviously, there have also been performance and memory improvements. Like for the resin side, we added quite a lot of new filament printers, too much to name them in this video. What is very important for us, this marks our exit from the beta version for the filament printers and we are very proud of that. We invite you to download this new version directly from our download webpage, share your feedback on Discord and most importantly, your 3D print with us. We love to see what you're creating. Stay tuned for more Litchi Slicer videos coming your way very soon. Bye bye!